Hello world! Thank you for joining me on one of my coloring adventures. I am Ashley Bayham, the creator and colorist of Voodoo Legends that is hopefully going to be out sometime in the beginning of next year. Um, it's been basically a two year project. Uh, I have a wonderful artist over in the Philippines, Mr. Michael Natividad, and he has sent me over a wonderful page which included this lovely lady right here. She is Marie Levu, one of the greatest voodoo priestess of her time, and I decided to put her in the comment because it is voodoo legends. So, um, here's the page. He always does a lot of extra work on her, so I'm starting to s see that it's possible that he really likes her. Um, she is not to be played with uh, right now as you can see she is doing some mean things because uh, she's being played with and she shouldn't be so today we're gonna work on some skin tones and we're gonna listen to some music that is supposed to be designated for Voodoo Legends so I'm gonna use that on any video that I have with Voodoo Legends it's gonna have music from Voodoo Legends or is allowed to be used by Voodoo Legends because I don't want to hurt nobody's feelings and take stuff they shouldn't have. I shouldn't have, so we're gonna just, you know, do what we're supposed to do. There you go. Uh, Snowy is the one who created this. I've already cleaned up my lines and set them to where you know they're see-through. I no multiplying or anything like that. I did that all in Photoshop, which is follows Photoshop viral, like. I always say uh, start Photoshop for me at least and then end in Photoshop once you do all the wonderful coloring in each paint tool slide. I have blocked off every single part of her too just because I wanted to and I do all of this before I start recording because it's tedious. It takes a lot to clean up the lines and it also takes a lot to get all of the color inside of the lines and I don't know what it is about having the color inside of the lines I just can't help it. I went on ahead and created paddle lists for just about everybody I think and which no I didn't I didn't create for everybody but hey we got time for that I did all this it's a lot so I'm going to copy this and stick it onto my page you where is it? It's not there. Okay, yes it is. It is there. Just hide it. Okay. So I got my base color down. Starting that middle color right there. We're going to work on her skin tone like I said. And great thing about this, doing everything on layers, is that you won't be really messing up anything. It might look super duper ugly initially, but it will look awesome once you actually show everything. You actually take the time and show everything. So I wanted to make sure I cleaned up everything before I got on here. You know how long it would be if I did not clean up everything? I really like this song. So basically I want to put in all of the darks that I know is places that's going to cast a little bit of shadow, places that I think might cast a shadow, and a little shadow just because I like it to be a little dark skin, because she is a little dark skin in the back. I want her to be dark skin. Um, places I'm hoping is going to show some shadow. <laughs> Probably should pull up some reference, but I, I can be a little experimental, and I'll go with what looks right to me. Usually, it's not all that of a good idea, but hey, what can you do? So, I know certain areas are gonna be a little darker than others, um, and I just kind of go from there. So, and most of the time, I'm winging everything, I'm just kind of winging it. I am winging it. Watch all the other artists, and they're like, you know, just flawlessly putting color down and lines down, which I, I draw to. And I don't like to show anybody my drawings. Well, I draw 
put up a little bit. It takes me a long time to show anybody my drawings. I do, I do like it because you know all artists want to show off their work, even if they do it themselves. It's always nice to have someone else see it. Anyway, it confirms that you did something and you did something, even if it's not great. You just did it. So I'm rambling. Let's uh, get back to coloring. Ooh, sorry, y'all. I do it sometimes. But basically, I got my watercolor, water tool, and I am going with the curves of her body. So if I see, you know, thigh, which is usually my favorite part to color, I don't know why. Doesn't matter, man or woman, thigh. Just that thigh, though. It's usually the best looking body part, in which you can kind of tell what an artist likes. Like I said, Michael must like Marie Laveau. And there's another character he really likes. I think uh, that would be Denala and Raph, who is the colorist that's been teaching me how to do everything. I think he really liked her too, because her coloring was just awesome. Every rule imaginable that was supposed to be used on her body was used. He made sure, absolutely sure, that she looked great. Whereas in others, you can look great, but it's just you just can't compare them to her for some reason. So here we go. We got the main, got the middle color, and then now my dark brown. Um, do that a little lighter, and we are going to use pencil. We want to. You know, there's some areas on the face that we're going to do, like that T. And we're going to lighten up her cheeks and put a little bit on her nose. But there are some areas, such as lines of the neck, collarbone, that we know there's probably a little bit of shine, very, not very, very much, but at least it's a little bit that could be there. So you like to add it. Um, that, da, do, that, da. I'm going to add a little there. I know we're gonna add some there. Um, go ahead and blend out again using use kind of curved circular motions when I'm wanting to get a rounded area. Okay. Blend it until I think it looks right. I don't want to just kind of have clown makeup on her. I don't usually like very makeup looks. Although I will use it. Um, certain characters call for it. You got it. You just have to. There's no way. Like her great granddaughter, Cassandra Lavu. Well, it's Lavu in the story. Uh, she does wear makeup. She likes makeup. And she is one. Well my fiance's favorite ladies. She is thicker than a mug. That's what he says. Which, yeah, I kind of want thicker women in the stories anyway. Body types are important to me to show there can be different body types on women. So, women can still be powerful, still be able to run and rule, fight, ignite. So, get that lighter color. Time to start doing in more lights. Now, some folks think that it's a little. I add, I make them dark, start in the middle, and then get lighter. And it's only because that's the way that I like to to work it. On the folks, we'll start light and then move dark, which is absolutely understandable. Um, but just to me, I like to do it in the middle and out and in and around. Um, I like to add highlights to edges because they're round and usually get kind of a, what is that, uh, another reflection of light and I always think that looks very good on thighs. <laughs> yeah. Thighs are serious. There's a reason why they look so good on my artwork. Or at least I think they look good. 
look like I want them to look anyway. Sick bass. So, more lightning. Now let's get into even darker. It's more red color and the only reason why I do that is because it adds way more definition to the um first off the thigh and <laughs> the areas of super dark parts that you know you're gonna get so go ahead and make that in there it's in there edged out again and I'm going to blend again usually the the format Edge it, blend it in, gradual changes in color to me gives it a much more natural look. I think it helps with the roundness too. You notice certain areas going further back, so yeah, you would get a little bit more light in certain areas than you would in others. So, basically, it's like I have about all of the areas done. There's more. I'm gonna keep going to that die, look good. Alright, so let's get that last little bit using some curved strokes to make sure I keep that rounded area. Like you know that's the thigh. Make sure you know it's the thigh. a tad a bit more highlight because we're gonna make sure she is good tips of those fingers right use a lighter color to help blend it out again dress and everything make sure we about right 
Yeah, look wrong. Hope so. Maybe. I think that's about it. That's about all I can do without over blending her over and over again. I will do that. I will keep blending. Um, and, and not care. Not care at all. Just keep going and keep playing. So I don't want to do that because I don't want to repeat the songs all over again and I'll get bored. So that's about it. She does look a bit glowy already. Don't even have to do the effect yet. Um, she'll be a little bit more glowy. That's why I created a copy layer. Named it Blur. Over there, there's a bit of blur. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that in Photoshop. Because I did it while playing around with the colors already. She can get nope, nope. She ain't blending enough. Look at that. And that's about it, right? See? All right. See, let me turn off that color ballot for y'all. So she look like. So um, save your work. Always. I waited too long to save the work because the computer could have died anytime. Oh gosh, I hate that. But thank you again for joining me for one of my coloring adventures. Next time I will probably be working on that dress. So, talk to you later.